Hello and welcome to the January WHM Mailbag, everybody. I'm Andrew Jupin, alongside the whole gang, Eric Siska, Christopher Cabin, Stephen Sadek. Uh, we are here to read your letters, your letters that you wrote us. What is going on? There is uh, all sorts of... Interpretive oh, oh, no, don't do oh, that. Yes. Please don't Dance do that. tube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're uh, doing a sextet known as Hot Desire. <laughs> yeah, that was Hot Desire. We'll be back later tonight to do another number <laughs> for you. <laughs> Can you lose money on YouTube? I know you can make money on YouTube. Can no, you lose you, it. I think we're just going to lose it. Okay. Yeah, just yeah, totally lose it. <laughs> uh, so we have your letters here. We're going to start reading them. Uh, Steve Sadak, let's start off with you. Okay. Uh, X-rated family movie time. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, sounds right up our alley. All right. What'd you watch with this? Uh, no, 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 no. This is a letter that I, did. I didn't write it. Oh, I see. So somebody else... Somebody, this is written. Oh, oh. This is the mailbag. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so somebody... These uh, are letters that you guys write in. By the way, write them in. We all hate movies at gmail.com, and they right. might be on the show one day. That's yeah, right. and now you can see them. Look, you can even see it. Uh, let me Proof. Just, I'll push this towards it now. Um, uh, hey, gang, I'm a huge fan and show. I'm a huge fan of the show and a Patreon subscriber. Thank you. Uh, your podcast has brought me a ton of laughs to me and my friends. Uh, please keep up the great work. Uh, after listening to the mailbag for some time, it reminded me of a very odd story about my dad and I renting a movie for some good old-fashioned bomb bonding time. Uh-oh. Snuff film. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Machine. No. <laughs> Uncle Machine. Uh, he was there, too. Did they when really I, kill her, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> when I was nine or ten... By the way, thank you for saying when I was nine or ten. I feel like so many stories you mm -hmm. hear from people like... When I was eight and a half years old, people have this like weird, it's like perfect memory thing. I think those are lies. And I'm like, I don't know. I was I either think... eight or fourteen years old. Uh, <laughs> well, me and yeah, Billy yeah. were drinking beer in the parking lot, <laughs> and uh, I got this girl pregnant. It was, it was I was definitely between eight and fourteen for, at that time for sure. It always involves Billy and a parking lot. <laughs> I think some younger listeners, you sure. know, age has more weight. So you, okay. you feel the half years more. <laughs> oh, remember when you were like yeah. eleven? You were like, "No, I'm eleven and a half, motherfucker." Right? Yeah, because <laughs> you want to be older, so you're exactly. just like counting it. Like, exactly. let's, let's just get there. It's almost at twelve. By the way, don't rush to be older because you know we're fucking we're we're, we're already crawling at the casket right here. <laughs> That's actually true. Uh, when I was All right. not, when I was nine or ten years old, my mom and sister rode horses competitively and were gone a lot of weekends, so it was just my dad and I and dad. Cheated on my mother? No, no, that's right. oh, <laughs> no, my no. God, she, <laughs> no, no. I mean, that probably happened, though, right? I mean, like, I mom's out so. riding horses, dad's home riding this horses. Is, you know? Oh my God, bestiality! Affair. No, 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 no. Hold riding, riding, riding thoroughbred. Kicked off this thing. No, no, no. Uh, Michael Douglas's daughter in disclosure. <laughs> no. uh, when I started, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it was just my dad and I. We would go to our local independent video store, and he'd let me usually rent whatever I picked out. I might as well add here that he never really even checked on what I would go out to rent. Uh, now, this led me to having my uh, having a very good knowledge of horror movies at a very young point in life, but also led to countless sleepless nights and nightmares, and, and of course, serious <laughs> a serious desensitized attitude towards movie gore. Well, that's uh, what's going to happen when you watch movies with James Woods. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, God. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this particular weekend, for whatever reason, uh, we went to West Coast to West Coast Video to pick up our rentals. I remember picking out Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, and Creep Show. One bad, one good. <laughs> Try to guess which one. <laughs> you know, it's like the old uh, one for them, one for me kind of rule. Oh, you know that's what I mean. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. My dad, on the other hand, went back behind the beaded curtain. Ooh, what, for, wow. uh, where is this? Do you think? Because like I always grew up with the saloon doors. The oh, beaded curtain. we yeah, had saloon else. doors saloon also doors as well. Yeah, mm. <laughs> beaded <laughs> little, curtain. Little cowboy. I'm thinking <laughs> I'm about horse. Stuff. I don't know what they had at Popcorn Video. I know that they must have had pornography somewhere on site. I think you had to crawl through a pile of popcorn like a double dare stunt. <laughs> pull, pull the porno out of the big, big, <laughs> big nose full of boogers. Oh, exactly. Oh, you didn't see the sign? It's, it's in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, my dad and the other back behind the beaded curtain for a while and came out with something for us to check out. No, not porn, but one of those Faces of Death videos. These, these okay, okay, yeah. Wow, Simon, look at this, he said. I struck gold. <laughs> it's a new one, 9-11 edition. <laughs> oh, God. 
I mean, this you. is this is the this is the worst stuff of human culture. But is this faces of fake? No, faces of death was fake. Okay, it was like a let's try and see like how realistic we can make this thing look. There weren't any deaths or beheadings. As or anything far like as that? I know, no. Okay, it was at least like because. They have at least one of them, or they did, on Shudder under the documentary section. <laughs> oh, come on, Shudder. I know. But I, I recall that it's like infamously fake, Okay, I think. At least the first, the the sensation that started right. it all. And, and also Faces of Death was proto-YouTube. Yeah. YouTube has replaced it. Proto-Rotten.com. Did yes. they also do that? Uh, is um, uh, Cannibal Holocaust also under documentaries, you think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does take that framing device. I no, don't know. I think that's literally under their cannibalism section. Yeah. Oh, and there's also that that the Road movie. Has anybody heard of that? With the Russian... All, it's all like... Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's wild stuff, It's man. all... Uh, is like on Shudder? Yeah, it's on Shudder. Shudder strays I think so. from horror, yeah. which yeah. is fine. But it's like it's sixty seven minutes, and it's all just uh, dash cam footage from Russia. That country's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Look out for the road movie. It's fucking crazy. It's, it's a little wild. Uh, here's here's the how you review that fo- that film. Holy shit! <laughs> the road movie. Uh, so, uh, Faces of Death video, and he comes up, Wow, Simon, look at this! He said, full of ex- excitement as he read the description. In his defense, he wasn't trying to scare me with it. He was trying to toughen me up oh, by watching boy. it. Sometimes you literally uh, wouldn't think, Oh, wait, this is the worst thing I can show my elementary school age son, <laughs> let alone think something like that exists. Well, uh, he, we breezed through Freddy's dead as best we could. I can't imagine. <laughs> now imagine this dad like, come on, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking Freddy Krueger. Yeah, I need some real shit. Oh, look, Roseanne. Great. This Just... does nothing for me anymore. <laughs> this is all stepped on. I want the pure stuff. <laughs> hey, Simon, I'm going to the bathroom. Don't pause it. Don't you fucking pause it, Simon. Hey, Who's... Simon, I brought home a hitchhiker. <laughs> I'm gonna... Let's kill him. <laughs> I'm going to pulverize this videotape and I'm going to snort it off the counter. <laughs> Directed by a woman. <laughs> uh, uh, Freddy's the best we could. Uh, as with any kid this age, Carlos's head exploding freaked me out uh, terribly and made me feel kind of sick to my stomach. But we made it through to the end and even had some laughs and got all, at the god awful jokes of the movie. Carlos, that's the kid with the ear shit. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah, the best yeah. kill of the movie. Ear trauma, dude. Tough times with ear trauma. I'll tell you what, I can't look at that. Previous episode, by the way. Oh, uh, right. Well, it was time for face. <laughs> I like your kid. Again, like uh, real cartoonish violence in, fr- in the final Freddy's Dead. Of course. Uh, you know what I mean? Like real cartoon nonsense. And he turns a kid into a video game. And you're like, oh, you know what? I, and this kid's like freaked out. He almost throws up. Yeah, I still need to toughen this kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. yeah. Mm. That was a problem. You should not have have you should have not have been disturbed by Carlos's head. Look, uh, it was either this or the act of seeing with one's own eyes. <laughs> Simon, Simon, you keep this up. We're not gonna get a prostitute next week. Come on, Simon! Come on, Simon! Uh ba ba ba. Uh, well, it's time for his death. It wasn't the original, but a later one in the series. I remember it focused mo- mainly on gang violence and inlo- Islamist terrorist torture and beheading. So this is what I was what? talking this about. Is a uh, new uh, one. The original like deal. I'm pretty sure because uh, the original the 911 version. <laughs> The original one is shit like uh, this is what ha- this is so and so he got the electric chair. Yeah, and sure. It's like, okay. But yeah, I don't remember anything about gang I mean, violence I guess, and Islamic torture. But also, whatever. what I mean, like, I, oh, I guess Freddy's dead. I mean, like, obviously, this isn't Freddy wasn't on the new release section. I guess is what we're talking about. I guess, well, yeah, because I don't know how old this person is, but yeah. yeah, so maybe that's the deal. But also, it's at least he's old enough that there was still video store culture. Yeah, with with places that had pornography in it. Also, yeah, something maybe. So that, that's like ninety eight. Well, I don't know, man. Is I don't two thousand three maybe Tops. with the, with Islamic. Terrorist torture and beheadings. That's kind of when it was getting really hot and heavy. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I at least remember not being too traumatized by it because I felt like I couldn't, uh, it couldn't actually be real. So it didn't bug me so much. Right. Uh, at least not as much as the infamous Q tip scene in Freddy's Dead. But my favorite part that I'll never forget is the scene <laughs> as it, in it 
showed a gunned down man in the middle of the streets in his clothes that were all torn up and his privates were blurred out. I couldn't uh, exactly remember the scenario, but I asked my dad, what is it they're bl- blurring out? And then my dad said, that's his pecker. <laughs> oh, man. Pecker. And I said, what's a pecker? And it's my, a movie by John Waters. And, <laughs> and my dad turned to me and was like, uh, went red and went, uh, um, uh, um, um. <laughs> Pecker? Penis? Uh, he says, penis. Peg? <laughs> to which I said, he oh. He with his pecker. Oh, okay. Uh, Peter so- Pegger picked a pick. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So fell not- right on your face. And that's, sometimes we do that. Uh, so-, so we could pick ourselves up, Master Wayne. <laughs> Master Wayne, why do we peg? <laughs> Alfred, what's we- a- Alfred, what's a pecker? <laughs> Master Wayne. Listen, I've got Faces of Death, Freddy's, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. It's The Final Nightmare, Master Wayne. It's the last one. Just and I've got A River Runs Through It. That's for me. That's for later. Don't worry. That's not for you. Some- uh, uh, John Waters, uh, uh, Dirty Shame. <laughs> your parents wanted you to have this. <laughs> it was your mother's pearls and Faces of Death not. I failed you. <laughs> I didn't rewind the tape. I failed you. You're going to get a late charge. I failed you. And I burnt the popcorn. Uh, what about, uh, so watching Faces of Death with his nine-year-old son was totally fine, but saying the word penis out loud yeah. made him feel sheepish and shy. Do you guys have any movies that you watched with family that were totally inappropriate? Thanks, guys, again, and please keep up the good work. Simon K., Nice. Uh, I think hmm. Eric's tapped out, right? <laughs> I, I don't even. I can't even. I don't even know. Man. That was your whole childhood, dude. exactly. Like I saw Hellraiser three when I was young, way too young for it. A bunch of movies where I was too young for it. I, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, I mean, my whole thing was always like the parents were coming in at the wrong time. Yeah, for sure. So it was yeah, just like you know. The woman sticks her hand down her pants in Animal House. Immediately, my mother comes home from work. Uh, my dad was a fan of... Anytime there was something even remotely like profanity was going on, his line was always the same. It was, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> Didn't matter what it was. What the hell is this shit? Uh, when was the first time you heard the word pecker? Oh, man, that's a great question. <laughs> that is a good question. I think... You know who said pecker, I think? I, I, I told the story of... Uh, my one friend's dad, when we were watching um, Braveheart, and there was the nudity, and he had the there's or boobers, uh-huh. I'm pretty sure that dad also used pecker. Oh, yeah? I think he said pecker from time. Boobers. He's known to say pecker Look from time Look at that to pecker in that <laughs> Irish skirt. <laughs> boobers and pecker. It go hand in hand. They do, it yeah. Really, yeah. It's a nice yeah, marriage. No, exactly. They, there's his pecker. No, I don't know how it was used, but I believe that man used His pecker. pecker's on our boobers now. Wait a second, this isn't Braveheart. I must have gone behind the beaded curtain. <laughs> on a drive from uh, down to North Carolina, uh, I just I was in the back seat and my uncle was up front. Yeah. And he just like shifted like a couple times, like he would stop a little bit, shift, and, like yeah. and then like finally did it one last time and then like my mother just yells at him, What are you doing? And he's like Pecker hurts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Pecker the first one. Pecker hurts. <laughs> was he sitting on it? He didn't specify. Fucking like elephant trunk. Was it caught in the zipper? <laughs> Pecker hurts. Oh, Pecker maybe, hurts. You know, <laughs> wild night last night. Maybe his thighs were squeezed together yeah. too much. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I Rough was, night last night. I got a little road rash. <laughs> I don't remember the first time I heard Pecker. I wish I wish I I wish to, I did. To be honest, I think he might have like he met, meant balls, uh-huh. but he just called, called it Pecker. The, the just whole said pecker. area is the Pecker. Oh, uh, the pecker whole package. The whole Pecker is the package. Yeah. Oh, right, let's I see. move on. Please okay. God. Oh, that's me. That's yes, you, Chris Cavan. Me. Okay. Uh, John Candy almost got me kicked out of school. Well, that's not nice. Uh, dear We Hate Movies, I hope this email finds you all healthy and well. Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> you got one right. Yeah. Uh, it's easier to fake it when they can't see us. <laughs> yeah, we're doing great. It's, oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I'm a longtime listener and first-time emailer, and I just wanted to let you all know how much I have enjoyed your podcast. Thank you very much. In fact, I've spent pretty much all of the last year archive binging your episodes from the very beginning, and it's been a blast. All right. Pretty cool, man. 
Um, I want to quickly mention that archive is on Patreon.com slash We Hate Movies. Good call. You know, my pecker's on uh, Patreon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. Boy. No, we want people to subscribe. Do not <laughs> yeah, cancel. Mass cancellations. <laughs> Uh, I very much enjoyed your December 2018 YouTube mailbag and assuming you're continuing with them and we're looking for content. I thought I would contribute a story from my past, which somehow manages to bring together a weird movie experience at school and the time-honored tradition of what are you watching? Nice. To, to set the scene, it is the early 90s. I would be about 10 years old. It is the end of the school year and as pretty much everyone would be checking out, the teacher had previously agreed that as part of our final class, we could just watch a movie and offer to let us oh, choose. Okay. Everyone's checking out. They're not checking out the teacher. No. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, man. Gun. Maybe a little of both. Yeah. Yeah. People don't get that with the audio. They don't oh, get now the you get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Guns. Oh, he's doing yeah. the finger gun thing. Checking out the teacher. <laughs> yeah, Van Halen's song is playing. That's fine. Which which one? I had uh, at some point been given a VHS copy of the late 80s John Candy movie, Who's Harry Crumb, as a gift. Incidentally, possibly stay tuned. Just a suggestion. I've seen that movie at least 25 times. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and for whatever reason, I offered this as an option. Since apparently no one could think of anything better, the teacher agreed. And so on the last day of, of the school year, everyone was gathered into the school library with VCR set up, and the movie started. Wait, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> the entire school is watching Who's Harry Crumb? Get the cafeteria workers in here. <laughs> They've got to watch John do the magic. No, it was, a, it was a weird thing. It was on the fucking uh, uh, the Heaven's Gate compound. The classroom was like 13 kids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, were, they were all, all weren't going to make it. Right. Oh, I see. Um, however, having not watched the movie in a while, I had somehow forgotten that the movie literally begins with a naked woman having a mud bath. It's true. Oh, yeah. Uh, seriously, I legitimately forgot. No one believed me, and I'm sure you guys won't either, but I honestly would not have been I brave forgot. enough yeah. to bring it in if I'd that. remembered. We I, believe you. I'm having a flashback now. Uh, we did same th- situation last week of school. Who cares? Uh-huh. Where you're, it's just child care at that point. No oh. one's learning anything. Yeah, we're just babysatting. Steve, you know what's in that movie? What movie? It, uh, in, uh, who's Harry Crumb? Oh, who's that? The uh, your fabled uh, stalking on the groin scene. Oh, that's what that it has oh, one of them. We gotta wait, add wait, that wait, to wait, the wait. list. Hold it's Gremlins Two. <laughs> Who's Harry Crumbs? <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's. On, stalking on the groin. It's scene. the thing, the footsie, but you're putting your your foot oh, on some yeah. right dick. Put your foot uh, right in it. <laughs> <laughs> a bestockinged foot. <laughs> we gotta get this usually a, owned by a sexy. You're lady. shifting gears from like <laughs> yeah, yeah reverse to oh, drive. Bottles now. Reverse to drive. Yeah, well, because that's Gremlins Two. Is you're like okay. It's like this Gremlin sequel, yeah. and then all of a sudden she's fucking rubbing his dick with her foot. Right, the footsie but, fuck. No, mine yeah. was. Hurts now. <laughs> somebody was like, "Let's bring in that uh, 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 comedy smash hit, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective." Uh huh. Uh-huh. And like that's a you know mostly family friendly movie. Until that's the, a movie, yeah. except for all the transphobia towards the middle to the end of that yeah, movie. Yeah. But, but you know, time, it's at that time we weren't saying man, that stuff. I loved it, but. Which is, but what we Awful. you always will forget is the fucking vicious blowjob scene yep. in the beginning of that yeah, movie. Yeah, oh, the vicious blowjob scene. <laughs> well, because he's this like, hold on right, for he holds life. on. Oh, right. Well, that is, that, I mean, he's no. holding on for No, he, he, is. he is. He is. He's being shook like he put a steak on it and then a Wolverine <laughs> got a hold of it. It's just like, I presumably he's enjoying it. I assume so, but and like, and like you know, as a kid, I, I never kind of really knew what that scene was. Yeah. But I yeah. remember my teacher being like, oh, what the fuck? Did I do? Like she didn't say that out loud, but she was like, "Guys, is the is the is the whole movie like this?" Or, <laughs> See that and that I feel and came up in school a lot. The question is the whole movie like this because you have to it's like Ace Ventura and his series of blowjobs. He's not being very careful with that package. He's throwing it all around the town. I mean, because this you have is to irresponsible. You have to make the call as the teacher because you're like, I have nothing planned. Yes, this is the only film exactly. in the VCR cart right now. Is the whole movie like this? Because if it is, I have to stop it. If this is an isolated incident, <laughs> if this is the only blowjob in this film, keep it rolling. Don't you get something saucy when him and uh, uh, Courtney Cox hook up? They kinda... It's the, it's the uh, 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 they do in the jungle. Yes. yes. And oh the, right. And all the animals are freaking out. The headboards going. Yeah. There is. There's vicious sex in that movie. <laughs> 
But this is like teachers should know or teachers should have their own selection. Don't yeah. let here teachers don't let idiot children There's select that the fucking scene film. where Roger Predactor eats his ass. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. It's like, well, Ace, can't find Snowflake. I can find something for you. Why don't you throw yourself out? Um, <laughs> when in doubt, Back to the Future. If you're if you're yeah. a teacher, right? right yeah. There's no vicious blowjobs yeah. in that. <laughs> No, rewatch it. It's a vicious blowjob. <laughs> Someone write a guide. Someone write a guide about which things you can show in high school. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm sorry, but please. Uh, da, 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 da. You can probably imagine how a bunch of preteens reacted when the very first shots of the movie turned out to be an attractive young woman taking all her clothes off and being smeared with flesh-colored goop. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it is. It's, it looks like icing. Uh, <laughs> but, it was nothing, oh boy. but it was nothing compared to how the teacher reacted. As she promptly stopped the movie, fixed me with a glare, and loudly asked, what kind of movie is this? Yeah, great question. Mm-hmm. Did I mention that this was a Catholic school? But me, it's too. Like, me, too. <laughs> this, me too. This is like both of your these teachers. Like, I don't know who John Candy is. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know who, who Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey is. is. Yeah, I don't but know like, who Roger Pradak is. Aw- exactly. Be aware of the world around you. <laughs> Assume they're all horny perverts. <laughs> exactly. Dan Marino's in a movie. It's not for children. Yeah, <laughs> yeah totally. Bad Boys 2, not for children. Not there. <laughs> is Dan Marino in that? Dan Marino's in one of those movies, isn't he? He's in one of the bad boys. I think in... He's got a cameo in one uh, of them. What? It is the second one. They steal his car. Yeah, it's the second one. It is the second one. It breaks yeah. down outside the bad boy's house, but it was just vapor lock. <laughs> Oh, I know. That's another football player. That's from the Simpsons. Joe Namath. Joe Namath, yes. Uh, da, 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 da. It was just vapor log. <laughs> uh, I then had to spend at least five minutes insisting that this movie wasn't softcore <laughs> pornography. I mean, yeah. It was, in fact, the adventure adventures of a lovably dim-witted private investigator <laughs> played by John Candy. <laughs> Also, he has red hair in that movie. It's really weird. Oh, he's, he's kind yeah. of unsettling looking in that film. <laughs> uh, trying to solve a kidnapping. Finally, the teacher relented and the movie continued, though I could feel her suspicious gaze on me for the next 80 minutes. Eep. Much to my relief at the time, that turned out to be the only scene featuring nudity in the film, as I was pretty sure I would have been expelled <laughs> had there been any more. That said, although it's been years since I've watched it, I still have a soft spot for the film since the uh, that one scene meant I, w- I was more popular with my classmates on that one day than I had been for the entire school year preceding it. All Jeez. right. Yeah. Mud bad. A lot, of hi- a lot of high fives that day, huh? All right. You know what, Scott? We're going to let you go. If there's a vicious blowjob in this scene, in this movie, <laughs> so help me God. <laughs> Your mother and I are going to watch this together. <laughs> Did you get this from behind a beaded curtain, Scott? <laughs> John Candy or uh, Jim Carrey as a porno actor. Yeah, I can Let's see that. See, I can do it. I'd watch it. Yeah. I'd be there. I'm probably sure there's a home video somewhere. <laughs> the man with the elastic face and the elastic dick. <laughs> nice. Sure. <laughs> uh, interesting fact, the movie also stars a pre-Troubles Jeffrey Jones. Yes, it does. Uh, I can only imagine what the reaction would have been had the skeletons in that man's closet been known at the point in time. Yeah, you were ripping that right out of the fucking VCR. Well, right nobody no, knows. No one knows. knows. Jeff Even Jones. now, yeah, you can. No, like, that's, that's like that's, that's like people like us. <laughs> I guess Ask that's every true. teacher you have who Jeffrey Jones is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they won't know. One of them is going to know <laughs> for sure. Somebody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the story. On a more serious and personal, I just want to thank you guys. Last year has been tough for me for professional, personal, and general world events reasons. Same. Good to see you there. <laughs> uh, see and you there. <laughs> I'll see you and I'll raise you. Double uh, it. <laughs> and your podcast has been a rock of support. The laughter I've had from uh, listening to you guys talk about terrible movies to impressions has really helped me uh, ease the burden. Thanks. Thank you for everything. And next time you're struck w- waiting through a terrible listener request month or a Michael Bay marathon that even a tall glass of water isn't helping with, I hope the knowledge that there's a fat, balding, bearded man in Australia <laughs> laughing himself stupid at what you're doing, making things a little easier. Well, that's very well, nice. Well, thank you, uh, Scott N. Yeah, skip me. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. That's very nice. Totally. Yeah, I mean the Ace Ventura blowjob. That's that's mine. Yeah, it just you know, and it was just it was just everything went wrong, and it was just like. <laughs> Everything went wrong. Have you ever told your Titanic story? Oh, I'm sure I have. Oh, okay. But I could tell it again. I mean, now that we're saying it. Uh, we went, to, we went uh, on a school trip, eighth grade, 
to see Titanic. Um, for historical reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we also saw Dante's Peak that year, so it wasn't exactly... For yeah. science reasons. Yeah, sure. You gotta wow. see what a volcano <laughs> works. Catholic school, huh? <laughs> Magnets you know there's a myth in public school oh, that you guys worked harder and it's fucking bullshit. It totally <laughs> is. I mean, you needed... Like, at least the state is involved in fucking... In public school. Catholic school, anything goes. Clearly. So we're watching Titanic, uh... And I and you know DiCaprio dies. It's really sad. And you could hear it's a room full of fucking thirteen year old girls. Everyone's crying. Oh, absolutely, you know? it's and tragic. I'm like, and I'm sitting with my my dude friends, and I'm like, this is gonna kill everybody. And I just go, sub zero. <laughs> and you could hear a pin drop. <laughs> no one said anything like nasty, but also at the same time. Clearly, no one was interested, and that's like also like wow. there was a lot of dudes, but they're like, nah, dude, we're not. They, doing they that don't want to go on that ledge with you. Exactly, they're all like, we're trying to like actually impress the girls right now. We're not right. talking about fucking Mortal Kombat, dude. Dude, relax <laughs> with the Mortal Kombat. <laughs> we're not trying to fucking talk about fatalities here. You're blowing it, <laughs> Steve. If you want us to throw you on the fire, we're gonna do it. <laughs> I think the problem was you didn't finish the line. What did he do? Did he win? Did was it a flawless did. victory? We'll never know. I just thought. Sub Zero would have done it. I thought I literally <laughs> expected a, a fucking standing ovation. I, you see, I don't have any like the school story, but you. This reminds me of when I saw Romeo, the Baz Luhrmann Romeo and Juliet. Oh, uh, that's the Romeo theaters. plus Juliet. Romeo plus Juliet. <laughs> it's plus Juliet. Uh, Equals love. <laughs> well, isn't it technically William Shakespeare's Romeo plus Juliet? Yes, that's fair. That's right. fair. Uh, um, and <laughs> so it's the end, and like every like just an ocean of like weeping wow. going on. And then just out of I didn't nowhere, know it was that effective of a film. <laughs> and then just out of nowhere, this old woman in the back just says, "Oh fuck off!" <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that reminds me of when I saw Memento and the credits rolled, and I was just like, "Damn, that was good!" And then some old lady yells out, "Did anyone get it?" <laughs> <laughs> Not really the same kind of thing. I would right? love it if you uh, I do. Well, so Stanley Jenkins was him. Stephen Dobolowski was never real. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Joe Bantliano was involved, but, it, you know, it was just, just go the whole thing. <laughs> but what was Carrie Ann Moss about? <laughs> Man, and who was Dodd? <laughs> uh, all right, Eric Sisko, uh, let's right. continue here. NYC Cuts. Hey, WHM gang. Last April, my wife and I took a vacation to New York City. Oh, we've been there. Yeah, if you, uh, this April, if you take a vacation, you might want to see us uh, live All on right. That's right. April 25th at the Gramercy Theater. There's a Correct. whole bunch of tickets uh, for four different shows on our tour tab on our website, whmpodcast.com. That's there right. Also, Boston, D.C., Philadelphia, and again, New York. Just so everyone is aware, you can see us live. There you go. All right. So, uh, and and since our trip would be brief, we knew we had to we had to hit both cliched tourist spots. We stayed in a nice, quiet neighborhood in Astoria, mm. which is where uh, we had movies actually got its start. That's right. Mm-hmm. It was born of it. We visited Ellis Island and toured it uh, and toured its uh, nicely spooky adjacent hospital. Yeah, that thing is weird. I don't know. I've never been. That's where like they told Robert De Niro like he was too sick to enter. Oh wow! Godfather two. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant in real life. No, no, no. Like, boy, what's, what's no, going on? and like when Vito Corleone comes to yeah, America, yeah, 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 there's yeah. something, or like his mother doesn't get admitted yeah, or something. Uh, something like that. It's where they were like, you're too ill to enter, you're cool, you're dying, <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's fucking weird, man. It's a creepy place. We're going, we're getting back there. Yeah, yeah we're, we're so creeping on back. Uh, saw musicals on Broadway, Hamilton and uh, Dear Evan Henson, for what it's worth. Hanson. Not like the Muppets, <laughs> like the like the dude who recently was arrested for writing bad checks, Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> have a seat, um, and chow down our delicious food at. Uh, why don't you pronounce this one too, Andrew? <laughs> Raclette. Oh, yeah, thank Raclette. you, Steve. Where they drizzled melted cheese onto your food, but I'm here to tell you about some uh, fun instance of culture shock I experienced while staying in the Big Apple. Uh oh. We checked out the Museum of the Moving Image, which is one of the most marvelous places, especially if you're a film buff. It absolutely is. It's we, amazing. We love it. Yeah, it's a treasure. And uh, as someone who loves all things Jim Henson, I particularly enjoyed their permanent exhibit. No, it's mm-hmm. Henson. What did I say? He said Henson. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what a fucking asshole. <laughs> I mean, it's right there. It's, 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 uh, come on, it's symmetry. Come on, it's jokes of symmetry. <laughs> all right. 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 <laughs> I could spend all day there basking in the history of cinema or geeking out over their giant Freddy's Chest of Souls artifact they have in there. For a a total polar opposite experience, however, we visited one of the most grungy film places, Troma Studios. What? Which is... Which relocated to Long Island from Hell's Kitchen. Uh, I thought it was always in Long Island City, but maybe that's what they mean, or maybe they maybe were it was Long they were in Hell's Kitchen for a while. Oh, okay, you could, like, I, just yeah. go to Troma. I didn't know this. I wouldn't wouldn't even think. To. <laughs> no, I wouldn't are, want to. Are you on your phone getting tickets already? No, no, no. <laughs> you can see I'm not because I don't want to. Uh, it was an interesting place to visit, and they had loads of practical effects strewn around the building that they had used in previous films. Like, what, what does that mean? A squib? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Toxie's Bop. <laughs> oh, wow, $35 to get in, huh? Uh, a cutout picture of pornography taped to the wall. Oh, oh very boy. cool. A bucket of sex toys. Thirty-five dollars to get in. <laughs> Brought my whole family. <laughs> and all mass, uh, all the masters for their movies on tape and celluloid sto- stored in a vault slash audition room. Man, audition sure hope room. there's not a fucking tragic fire there. No, 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 no. It's not thirty-five dollars to get in. It's thirty-five dollars for the whole place. What do you want? <laughs> and then uh, there's a fifty. $15 for the vaccine. Uh, <laughs> side note, I had to call. I, I called multiple times in advance to set up a tour. Oh, so come we, on! Why? We didn't drop by unannounced, and they never answered. <laughs> so when we came a call, and they were filming auditions for their next film. Slop Bucket. So you should have known Kevin, it's Slop Bucket 4. Yeah, I'm Shut sorry. Shut up, I'm trying to get a part in Slop Bucket 4 now. <laughs> what? You could just show up at an audition? Wow, man, you could be in the pictures, Eric. Oh my God, well, we could all be. My, my question is, like, so you just showed up at a place of business expecting a tour? I guess. I mean, I'm sure I'm as a place of business, but, you know, they got to be doing something. Yeah, I don't... Well, young man, you're not the first fan to come along thinking all the crazy <laughs> things that go on in the Mad Magazine offices. Yeah. I wonder if they just didn't update their website and it said, call for tours on Yeah, it. that sounds oh, right. Oh, wait, Troma being behind the times, huh? Uh, that's weird. <laughs> 1900 Toxie, dude. Guys, it gets worse. When the time came for the tour to end, they stood at the door silently staring us down for a minute, their body language screaming, get out, <laughs> until we thanked them and, for their time and left. Since that Friday fell on the 13th, uh, I knew I had to uh, find a theater screening Jason Takes Manhattan uh, priorities, you know. Unfortunately, the only screening was at the Nighthawk, and I didn't want to travel that far out on my own, so I settled on Videology in Brooklyn as they were screening Friday the 13th in 3D. Uh, Dude, wait, 3D. you were literally right there. They're, they're pretty much next to each other. <laughs> yeah. right there. Videology's right down the street from Nighthawk, or it was. Videology's out of business now, but I don't know who to, I don't know who told you who gave you a map. Yeah, dude. wow, bad directions, bud. That's you were right bad. there. You could have seen it. You yeah. were there. Although I will say, Friday the Thirteenth three D was pretty good. I mean, it's a better bo- movie. It's a better movie. Yeah, but mm, but you're, see- you're in New York City. You can go see. Jason takes Canada. It's right there. <laughs> I feel so bad. He was right there. And if people don't know, Nighthawk is sort of like a, a, a local New York City Alamo esque yeah. type of theater. I think it's better. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a good. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the good dinner and like drinks it. in a movie situation. Sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, disappointingly, in red and blue, and Anaglo- okay, I mean that's just how the movie was released. <laughs> It, yeah, well, they wanted like the IMAX glasses. <laughs> I also like how this guy was like, "Oh man, I hope I can see a movie." Uh, like, oh, it's it's amazing that you had your choice of two Friday the Thirteenth movies. God damn! Yeah, yeah. that's pretty. Like, you know, fucking like, oh, sweet. I hope they're playing Jason Takes Manhattan. They are, but it's too far. Fuck you, go. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck you nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, Thank we, you we very much. You're yeah, so no, nice no, 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 fuck you, go. Come on. <laughs> but we're staring you down, saying, "Get out." Uh, my wife and I went our separate ways. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, dude. Wow, oh, this <laughs> vacation took a turn for the worst, man. <laughs> and traveled the subways to get fr- uh, from 42nd Street to Brooklyn. Videology 
is a pretty cool place. I you mean, were you were right by the way, there. You could have taken from Astoria, you could have taken the end of the seven to yeah. the G, but anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, take a cab anyway. Anyway, uh, on my journey back, I'm just skipping some. But sure, on, my j- <laughs> on my journey back, I was hustling through a, a subway platform when two girls hollered out for me to stop. Oh, shit. I did, and they told me that I nearly stepped in a giant puddle of blood. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, excuse me? Uh, that's a giant puddle of blood. <laughs> Well, only in New York. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> um, sorry, sir, sir. That's a, it's a giant puddle of blood. <laughs> I mean, that's probably better than anything you saw at the trauma studio. <laughs> no, you probably saw the the trauma studio. Lloyd Kaufman's pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> Looking down upon this lake of crimson, I immediately jumped back and asked. Wow, lake of crimson! By the way, I love good, when there's good, good writing in mm-hmm. the in the fanny mail. I dig mails. it, dude. I dig it. it makes Ooh. me want to go to hell. <laughs> I asked out loud, how has no one cleaned this up yet? They looked at each other and then to me, it's New York. They don't, which I'm sure is an exaggeration. But you tell me, it is only slight exaggeration. Just yeah. a little, yeah. little Still slight. Don't bust a mop out here. In this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Garbage, eventually. eventually garbage water goes away. Yeah. <laughs> it becomes garbage air. It just evaporates. <laughs> and now the good news is, um, now that Cuomo won't fix the L train, it's going to be a river of blood. Oh. Between, a river of blood. <laughs> between uh, 14th Street and uh, Brooklyn. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> um Overall, I love the trip and would go back again in a heartbeat. Fellas, are there any crazy subway shenanigans or awkward encounters you've had as late in NYC? Nathan from Dallas, Texas. Nathan, mm. thank you for the letter. Thank you for being a good sport while we uh, ridiculed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bummed that he missed the Nighthawk, man. You were literally He's just right, like right a block and a half away. Mm-hmm. What a bummer. What a stone cold bummer for you to be finding that out right now, Nathan. Uh, actually, last week or the week before, oh Eric, shit, Eric and I were taking. Oh the, right, this, the, I didn't even thank you for bringing this up because I don't even remember this shit because it's just hey, it's like weather. Here. Oh no, exactly. Yeah, the, yeah, half yeah, the stuff yeah, just yeah. bounces right off you, but um, the the way uh, where we record in the secret location at the end of the line, and there's two A trains. One's like. One's waiting to go and one's I mean, just nowhere. But we 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 record in Jamaica, Queens. <laughs> <laughs> in any event, uh, one A train is waiting. Eric and I get on that one. One pulls in, uh-huh. and the people get out, and the, people are mad at this guy because he was smoking on the train. Oh shit! Yeah, that's a big no no. And like, I'm like trying to ignore it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. They this lady comes into our train because she wants to. The conductor to do something. The conductor's not gonna do anything. Oh, they're not gonna he doesn't do anything, give a baby. Shit. No way. He's not gonna involve. He's not gonna risk his life because somebody was smoking on the train. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And this guy's clearly not where he should be. Right. And like this lady's yelling at him, and like she's like, "You son of a bitch! I, I, I'm pregnant and all this shit." No, all you know, right? Rights Def- to her. Sure. Yes. Totally within her rights. Yes. She leaves, and then this other guy shows up for no reason, <sighs> trying to not even be a hero, but like just trying to get like. Points. The, the point oh, has been dude, made. There are there are fingers in the air. Oh, I meant like getting social points. Yeah, he was. Uh, he yeah, was just yeah. like, no, he's doing both. Oh, he was like, oh. listen, buddy, this is not okay. People are people are trying to get to work. They don't need to smell smoke and da 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 da. And I'm like, leave it alone, man. And yep. this guy is like clearly away. totally messed up. Yeah, just really walk pissed away. off. He's like six foot four. He's a big dude. Yeah. Honey, honey, are you recording it? Yeah. Keep, keep it, keep it steady. Keep it steady. And this lady was about to eat a sandwich, and then he snatched it out of her hands. What? And that's and she just punched him in the head. And I was like, you know what? I'm. I'm that, I'm, and this is like, <laughs> she was she was fucking kicking this dude's ass. She she punched him like in the head, and then like threw him into the subway wall. Yes, it was just like you know what? Why and then are you beating, just telling me this now? This, this is just this is just exactly local flavor. I, I, it hasn't registered to me until somebody was like, "What's the weirdest thing that's happened to you lately?" That's yeah. incredible. And then we, we 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 ran out of there and got it. We went down the few cars down. Yes. And, yeah, yeah well, a couple of big do. tough guys what? over here. <laughs> Walk away. Dude. Exactly. Walk, it's just not my ignore fight. them all. It's not Some, my fight. Somebody smoke. I mean, like you know, something was going on. I might have gotten involved. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> well, if something <laughs> truly heinous was getting yeah, up, certainly. But this was a, just a guy out of his gourd, and I don't know why this person even engaged with them, not only to talk to them, but to fight him. 
That's this, crazy. This is up there with that our our Arizona shit bomb story. That was bad. That's yeah. about as top for us, mm-hmm. I think. That was yeah. Uh, to briefly recap, there was a couple of uh, guys, probably Covington High School alums, uh, who yes. fucking were were messing uh, with this homeless woman on the train. But don't fuck with these people. And guys were clearly on cocaine, like yeah, just like was, hyped up to shit. It was a bad like she had everything in a yeah. cart kind of a thing. She had a fucking Arizona bottle. They opened it. The train immediately exploded <laughs> with this fucking smell. And they started screaming, she keeps her piss and shit in a bottle. By the way, I should also mention, this was at like 12.30 at night. Late night train. Everybody just desperately wanted to get home. This, that's Everyone just button up. Yeah. You know what I mean? To yourself. Exactly. You've it got was... your area. He's got his area. That's his area. That's yeah. his area. These I like mean... Banana Republic wearing motherfuckers were yeah. just like messing with this homeless woman. It was fucking horrible. And just like you guys, I immediately at the next stop, Chris and I fucking bounced <laughs> out of that next car. Exactly. That's the move. Uh, all right, so what do we think? We got two more here. We want to do both. We want to do one. Um, what are we we thinking? can cut this next one. The last one's just in our wheelhouse. All right, okay. let's do the wheelhouse one. Just to save some, some time here for folks. Uh, all right, here we go. The shit that cleared the IMAX. Mm. Jeez, I think I know what wheelhouse this is in. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, good day, We Hate Movies. Uh, I have a terrifying and gross story from my days working at a rave movie theater back in 2011 that I wanted to share. Oh, rave is like the chain. I was going to say, yeah. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, I thought it was like some sort of like, you're trying to watch a movie while also like... They wheel in a cart and you can buy Molly and X. Hell yeah, dude. Do raves still happen? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I've never been invited to one. I think they're called EDMs now. Oh, yeah. That's true. Is that electronic dance music? Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, All right, here we go. Summer 2011, I worked as an assistant manager at Rave Cinemas. Oh, Oh, congratulations. uh, Stony Brook in Louisville, Kentucky, and relentlessly abused my authority, getting friends and family in uh, free to theaters... Uh, whenever possible. Uh, one of my close friends had shown up with his brother to see Transformers Dark of the Moon, so the least I could do was get them in free and prevent Michael Bay from earning more from the franchise. Uh, Dark of the Moon was showing in the IMAX, which was located on the left wing of the theater, theater number four, and directly across from theater number three, and a men's and women's room uh, restroom situation. Uh, it was slower than normal mid-afternoon Sunday, and I was on the floor handling customer issues and checking to see that movies were dropping and ushers were cleaning them in a timely manner. Uh, My walkie buzzed and I received an urgent request from an usher that something was terribly wrong near the IMAX and that customers were starting to leave (laughs) mid-movie from theaters number three and number four. Instinctively, I ran to see what was the matter when my cell phone began going wild too. (laughs) I checked it to see my friend had texted, OMG, what is that? (laughs) All capital letters. Uh, along with multiple other inquisitions of the same vague kind. This only hurried my pace as I knew he was in that very this, theater. This has me thinking Godzilla's here. Yeah, we're like a chud, maybe <laughs> yeah, a chud yes. outbreak. Possible chud outbreak, I'm thinking, yeah. for sure. Um, it reminded me of chuds. If you get bitten by a chud, you turn into a chud? Uh, or do you have to? Think you have to have been like the get the radiation treatment. Sure, what the hell? I'm talking <laughs> Chud One. No, 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 no. Chud One, I think they're just killing people. Oh, okay. Chud Two, it's just zombies. Oh, okay. I, th- I yeah. think Chud One, it's toxic waste. Where do I apply to become a Chud? Is my question. The New York City subway system. <laughs> Port Authority. <laughs> smoke, yes. a cig- smoke a cigarette on the A train, you turn into a Chud. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Uh, after I crossed the midsection into the IMAX wing, I stopped dead still in my run when the single most disgusting smell of my life invaded my senses. I gagged and had to cover my mouth with a wet rag and nose with a literal clothespin to keep going. Where'd you get a clothespin from? Oh my lord. Um, it happened before. <laughs> uh... It was true, and customers were uh, filing out of theaters number three, number four, and now number five as the smell had permeated through the hallways. My friend crossed my path and jokingly asked for his money back while he bailed for the exit, uh, giving me the sign of the cross. I radioed a dependable and loyal usher named Sam to come help me and bring all the cleaning supplies we had for whatever we were about to experience. Uh, Pinpointing the bathroom... Uh, across from the IMAX, I felt relieved that whatever it was uh, was at least contained to the appropriate area. The bathroom was the men's, 
Sure. Standard size with the sinks and urinals, so everything is a bathroom. <laughs> uh, at the front to the left, <laughs> then stalls to the back left behind a wall. Okay. There's white oh, tiles. Yeah. Yeah. There were toilets. Thank God it wasn't carpeted. Uh, we had flowing water. <laughs> All right, how high were the ceilings? <laughs> um... Uh, 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 upon entering, we did not understand how ill-equipped we were. Uh, the bathroom <laughs> was covered in shit at every turn. The mirrors, sinks, Come on. urinals, walls, floors, stall how doors, <laughs> handles, and finally most of the toilet in the last well, stall on the left. You have to hoard your own shit and then bring it this, somewhere. This, <laughs> this is what happens when you let Jeffrey Rush into your establishment. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Rush? Oh, he's writing so a poem, the, you the, think? Yeah. Uh, uh, it was a true shit apocalypse. <laughs> uh, not minutes into assessing how clean the abomination that was once a restroom... Uh, I was radioed that people were beginning to flood out of theater oh, number no, 16 no, 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 no. on the other side <laughs> of the building. Can't do it. <laughs> oh, theater 16, another shit in, shit, <laughs> another shit in, shit in. Uh, it was here that we had found the sad and solemn culprit. A senile old man had been found in theater number 16 in the front handicap row, still sitting in his excrement, covered pants, Taking in Tom Hanks, Larry Crown. Wow, yeah, that the, checks out. This is like the fucking corrections, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I don't know about you people, but I think Larry Crown is a winner. <laughs> uh, as other pa- patrons quickly evacuated upon his arrival. Goof. The restroom and theater number 16 were closed until the following Friday, oh, but Lord. consistently during their deep cleans, customers were leaving movies in neighboring theaters early, demanding refunds. There is no idea just how much business that theater lost due to the carpet bombing of a shit that old that the old man left in his wake just to see Tom Hanks go back to college. Thanks for all your wonderful material, Charlie in Louisville, Woo! Kentucky. Well, thank you, Charlie. But here, I think that's just a garbage chair situation. They put a garbage bag over yep. the bag chair. Over it, dude. Guess what? The next movie's rolling. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yeah. That's exactly right. Uh, I mean, I've told all the theater horror yeah, stories yeah, about that over the years, man. Actually, um, uh, now it's reminding me of this happened to me the other day. Uh, I just got a Nintendo Switch fairly recently, and I've gotten, okay. gotten really into this Zelda game. Yeah, uh, never never played it before. Really, really loving it. And I'm like, you know, the train is when I, I I have the most time to play it. Sure. So I'm playing it on the train. I finally get a seat on the path train. Very rare for me, especially morning rush hour. Right. And there's a lady like three seats away, about seven feet away from me. Covered in shit. <laughs> and it's not a super crowded train because it was like during like, the holiday break sort of. And she's just vomits everywhere. Oh, uh, But it's like a clear vomit and like she's just black all over the door. Oh, and no. it's like. <laughs> how, far are you, how far away are you from this? Like uh, how many feet? Like from you to me, basically. Oh, nice. <laughs> but on the- <laughs> I could probably hit you. <laughs> no, but it was nothing hit me. But basically, so I'll, I'll do a little improv here. Oh please. Uh, so you know she's do she's doing that. Some people get up. She starts to try feebly, and I mean, a, first of all, I felt bad for her because like, it was, she was visibly sick. Like you yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. her face was beat red. Like she was not doing okay. She's like taking napkins out of her bag to oh. try and clean some of this up. It's oh. not really helping, you know what I mean? Like, was it's it a, yeah? Was it burning through the seats? <laughs> but like here I am, <laughs> and I'm like, some people get up, some people hadn't, which kind of emboldened me. I'm like, well, I'm gonna stay seated. Yeah. So I'm just kind of playing, and I just kind of go like this a little bit <laughs> oh. every so often, and just gotta find that next shrine, man. Yeah, oh. it was uh, it was not cool. It was very disgusting. That's rough, dude. But I stayed because my game was on the line, dude. You know, <laughs> yeah. what I mean? those shrines are important. Yeah, those shrines are very important. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is WHM Mailbag for the month of January. Thank you so much for writing in. If you want your questions answered or your disgusting stories read on the air, we all hate movies at gmail. Less disgusting stories would be great, too. That would be pretty cool. Or more. Like, like maybe listen to an episode and be like, oh, I saw that movie once. (laughs) And something funny but not absolutely having to deal with shit happened to me. I kind of wish I read that other email. (laughs) Maybe we'll do that. Next month. Uh, Until next time, I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Chris Cabin. Eric Siska. Take it easy.